Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a door by cutting up the walls, making a door frame and placing the door into, into the way. So first and first open up your map and find out where you want to place your door. So I want it about here and I'm going to have it cut out about there. Right, so now that we've found the place I'm just going to adjust my adjust my skirting board so I have about about that big right so I want it roughly that okay right so anyway um, to have the skirt buds when I want it I need to cut out the door so I can see the gap there between the skirt and buds so if I just click the clipping tool or if I shift X or just clicking it and cut in where I want it to cut. Now as you can see one side's gone red and one side's gone white. I want both of these sides to go white because I don't want to get rid of anything. If I wanted to get rid of this side say I make it go red and I get rid of it. But I don't. I want to keep both sides. So now we've done that I need to pick a suitable height for my door. Um, let's think. I will I will do it about this high. And uh, maybe a bit too big. I'll try that right. Right, so you can make sure both sides are white. They are. Click enter. Right, so now that's done. Now that's done, I'm going to now cut open a door frame. So I'm just going to do 2 by 2 by 2. It's just cutting again. It's not cutting involved. And cut again on this side. And then deselect the big door. Right now, I'm gonna go to my browser and search a wood. I'm gonna use this cabinet and just go side of one B and click the brick to color texture tool. Right. So now that that's in place, I want to now make this a door. So I'm gonna do. You can. There's two ways of making doors. There's either you make a proper score door or a function score door. For this example, I'm gonna use a function score door because problem score doors are used every day and they're quite simple because you don't need to do anything with the directions or anything so I'm just going to go browse and search in door right now hundreds of doors will come up so you need to <coughs> have a good look I'm going to use this one because I like the look of it and as you can see it's not right in my texture so I'm just going to just shift do a bit of texture shifting And bring it down. Actually, another white door instead. Right, and bring it down. As you can see, it's just adjusting. Okay. So now, as you can see, I haven't made it to what I want. So just readjust it. So now, bring the door down a little bit. And bring those in a bit. And I'm going to bring this skirt in out. And this skirt in out. And I'm going to bring this skirt in out a little bit and bring it down a bit as well. Because this skirt at the top would be way too big. Right. So as you can see, the wall's not in place now. Bring this down. So we have two pieces of skirt around the wall. Okay, so now that does in place, it's looking all good. Right. From both sides. Yeah. Right, so now that we've done that, let's make it a door. 
So right click control T by time to entity and write in func underscore door underscore rotating. Now this will give you a list of options. Now for now just go to flags and put in use opens and whatever else you want. New func underscore door. And I'm gonna have it go in one direction, which is towards us. Okay. Right, so now that we've done that, this door should be turnable, but we need to make a pivot for it to turn on. So this little circle thing here, as you have in every diagram, is the pivot. Now we want this top X to Y to do this because this is how this can turn. So I'm just going to drag this circle down to the edge of my door where I want it to turn. And then that's the door, it should turn. Right, so that's the door, you could leave it. Right, so now I'm going to just add the door handles. So if I just click the dynamic prop, world model, door knob, written knob with filter, and two door handles come up for me, which I'm going to use for now because probably most suitable, well not suitable but yeah easy to use now so click apply and the door handle will show so I'm just going to drag this to my door now and it looks about the right height to be honest it looks at a good height so now I'm just going to copy this across and rotate it 180 degrees by either writing 180 on this or turning that or you can do it manually of course and as you can see it just looks wrong so you need to change the prop again to the other side which is that one and there we go so the handles are in place but if we open this door now it just open and the handles will stay still so we need to give both of these a parent name now you can either do them individually or just click on both and give them a both parent and I think oh but first make sure you name the door which I've named door and it's called name can I just do this again? Do it's called main. And that is that done. So if I just quickly show you on the game, I hope this should work for you. Right, so as you can see, this is my map. Well, just started it. So lights on. Right, so our door. It's looking pretty good. Let me just get rid of this part. The doors work pretty fine, the handle goes away as you walk away, but that's normal. And if I open the door, it opens towards me, as I said, with this direction, and it's all good. So this door has worked pretty fine. And hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching.